White in Life with Elizabeth, featuring Del Moore. Number one in the life of Elizabeth occurred because of Mama's letter. You probably have someone in your family who writes the way Elizabeth's mother does. Oh, long letters, full of interesting news. There's just one thing wrong. Nobody can read them. Elizabeth, how are you tonight? Mama's handwriting pretty bad? <laughs> Regular hand tracks, huh? Oh, by the way, Alvin's trying to get your attention. Elizabeth. Mm -hmm. Elizabeth. Mm -hmm. Elizabeth, are you listening to me? Mm-hmm. You haven't heard a word I've said, have you? Sure I have. Okay, what did I say? This ought to be good. What ought to be good? Go on, repeat what I said. You said Elizabeth, and I said, hmm. You said Elizabeth again, and I said, hmm. You said, are you listening to me? And I said, uh-huh. And you said, you haven't heard a word I've said, have you? And I said, sure I have. And you said, okay, what did I say? This ought to be good. And I said, what ought to be good? And you said, go on, repeat what I said. <laughs> So smug. Alvin, did you know that smug spelled backwards is gums? So what? I just thought you'd like to hear a joke with teeth in it. <laughs> Look, honey, I'm going to let you sit down here because I admire courage. And it takes real courage to tell gags like that. What have you got there? Oh, it's a letter from Mama. Only I can't figure it out. What makes you think you can figure it out any better over here than you did over there? You're going to help me? Oh. <laughs> what does it say? Let me see it. Honey, I can't figure out your mother's writing. I know it's pretty bad. Sometimes I think she writes in code. Grams, clod, he, slat. Well, that says grandfather lost his hat. <laughs> Doesn't she cross her T's? Dots the T's. <laughs> Crosses the I's. Well, why, for goodness sake? Well, some people are left-handed. Mama's left brain. <laughs> <clears throat> now, let's see if we can figure this thing out. She dots her T's and she crosses the I's. Does she cross anything else? <laughs> Papa. I asked a sensible question, and I expect a sensible answer. Does she cross anything else? No. Okay. But she has a wonderful picture of Washington dotting the Delaware. <laughs> Aren't you glad you married me? I'm a million laughs. <laughs> Honey, is a virus very heavy? A virus? You mean like a little germ? I don't know. Mama says Elsie's in bed because somebody hit her with a bouquet of viruses. <laughs> now, it doesn't say that, and you know it. Okay, I'll be serious. Maybe this is important, and I'll be lucky if I can figure out half of what Mama says. Now, this, for instance. She says, Papa is in town, and I'm worried about his cough. Is that a C? Papa's in town, I'm worried about his cough. No, 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 that's a D. Papa is in town, and I'm worried about his dough, his money. <laughs> no, Mama, never say dough. No, I guess not. <coughs> Show us his cabbage. <laughs> Let me see. That's definitely O-U-G-H. Yeah, but that isn't a D. No, I think she's worried about his cough. No, wait a minute. Maybe it's enough. Papa is in town, and I'm worried about enough. Look, this light isn't very good. Let's go over and try that one. Yeah, right here. Sit down. Right. Yeah. Now, look, right here. Now, you agree that that's O-U-G-H. I think so, unless maybe this isn't town at all. Mm -mm. Well, sure, here. Papa is a clown, and I'm worried about his laugh. Oh. 
There's only one way to settle this. I'll be right back. Honey, I still think I was right in the first place. Papa is in town and I'm worried about his cough. No, Papa nearly drowned and I'm worried about his cough. <laughs> Something left over my butterfly hunting days. <laughs> ah! Elizabeth, that's only your fingernail. Oh, I thought I cut myself. Aha! Look at there, Elizabeth. Plain as day, see? That is clear now, isn't it? Hmm? it Grandfather lost his hat. No, no. Papa is in town, and I'm worried because it's rough. No. No, that's his. Papa got me down, so I threw him in the trough. Honey, that's an O-U-G-H. I know an O-U-G-H when I see one. I should. What are you going to do? Well, I'm not going to sleep until I find out about it. Uh, operator, give me Merrifield 7441. Honey, don't spend money on a long-distance phone call. Just well, neither one of us are... Uh, Mercury 1717. Honey, I know an O-U-G-H when I see one. Take my We're word for it. It's worth $4 to... Devil, it's Honey, I know. Mama? Hi. Oh, fine. Mama, we just got your letter. Yeah, and Alvin and I were having a little discussion over one particular sentence. Honey, I... I think it's... Yeah, I think it says Papa is in town, and I'm worried about his cough or dough enough... Rough or tough? Rough, tough, trough, laugh, bow. What'd she say? She says she's not sure, but she thinks that Papa's on the train, and I'm worried about the plow. That doesn't make sense. Mama, no, Evan says that doesn't make sense. Do you think you could? Oh, that'd be wonderful. Good. Or... Yeah. Well, look. Ma. Fi yeah. G goodbye, Mama. What's wonderful? Well, she can't remember what she wrote, so she's going to come out here and see for herself. <laughs> I shall leave you at this point, Elizabeth. Why? This whole thing was a sneaky little plot just to get her to come out for a visit, wasn't it? Alvin, how can you say such a thing? Good night. Elizabeth, it was a plot, wasn't it? Aren't you ashamed? <laughs> Incident number two in the life of Elizabeth occurred because of the Brotherhood of Omnipotent Brothers. That's Alvin's Lodge. Seems that the Brotherhood is putting on a dinner, and Elizabeth and Alvin are getting ready to go. As you can see, Alvin's happy. He sees a long evening ahead of him. Speeches, chicken a la king, and plenty of back slapping. As you can see, Elizabeth is unhappy. She sees a long evening ahead of her. Speeches, chicken a la king, plenty of back slapping. It all depends on your viewpoint, I guess. Come on, honey, hurry up. We have to be at the lodge hall at 8.30 sharp. Alvin, we may have to be there at 8.30, but believe me, with that gang, we don't have to be sharp. Now, honey, don't be like that. You'll have a million laughs. Charlie's going to be Toastmaster. <laughs> I don't like toast. Come to think of it, I don't like Charlie. Honey, don't just sit there. I want my wife to be the most dazzling woman at the banquet. What are you going to wear? Blue jeans. <laughs> <laughs> You're real cute. Hey, I'll help you. Hey, which perfume are you going to use? Some of the cheap stuff. You mean this? Matter. How can you stand there and look so happy when you know we have a whole evening of the brotherhood of omnipotent brothers ahead of us? Oh, honey, now, they're fine people. A little corny, perhaps, but he's good-hearted. A little corny? Look, I'm a lodge member saying hello to you. Hello, Elvin! Cut it out, will you? Did you hear about the absent-minded professor who slammed his wife and kissed the door? <laughs> a little corny, he said. I don't know a single club member that would tell a joke like that. Just the same, that's where I heard it. Who told it? 
You. <laughs> Honey, look at the time. We've got to hurry. We don't want to miss the opening remarks for the Grand Lizard. The Grand what? <laughs> lizard. <laughs> Who's going to be the Purple Cobra this year, dear? Alan Cooper. <laughs> you mean to tell me there is such a thing as a Purple Cobra? Well, sure. Alvin. Mm hmm Honey. Hmm? Do we have to go to this, this snake pit tonight? Oh, honey, you'll love it. I'm going to feel a little out of place without fangs. Honey, would you hurry up? We're going to be late. Oh, but why did you have to join this particular lodge when there's so many good ones? Well, lots of reason. The insurance, for one. Some insurance. When you die, you stop paying dues. <laughs> yeah, well, how about the accident insurance? Well, that only pays off if you're bitten by the purple cobra. Well, I'll get lots of other benefits. When? Just as soon as I'm a full-fledged snake. <laughs> I've got news. Any man who would expect his wife to go to this so-called banquet is a full-fledged snake. You better not let the supreme mongoose hear you say a thing like that. Goose. Sure. Alvin, I can't believe that an intelligent man like you... Let me put that another way. A man like you... That isn't right either. Who's the supreme mongoose? He's the ruler over all the snakes. And then comes the, uh, the grand lizard, the purple cobra. And then there is the uh, chief rattler. He's just a baby, I suppose. Uh, hmm? Uh, one. That's all. The rest of the men are just ordinary snakes, except the newcomers like me. I'm not a snake yet. You want a bit? What are you? I'm just a worm. <laughs> that does it. Most wives have husbands that if they, if they have any vices at all, maybe they go out bowling once a week. But no, I have to have a husband whose main ambition in the whole wide world is to be a snake. What are you grinning at? Oh, nothing. I'm sorry. Go on. Let me tell you something, Alvin. I expected to get poisoned by the food tonight, but now I can see I'm going to have to watch out for the people. Honey, hurry up. We're going to be late. Come on, come on. Oh, sure. We don't want to keep the supreme mongoose waiting. Yeah, that's right. Brotherhood of omnipotent brothers. Do you realize what the initials stand for? No, no, I never stopped to think about it. Uh, what? B-O-O-B, -O -O -B, boob. <laughs> I have dinner with a bunch of boobs. Here, let me help you with this. I can do it myself, thank you. Oh. Snake-like boobs. Elizabeth, the curtain goes up at 8.30. <laughs> what did you say? I said that it's curtains if we're not there at 8.30. That's not what you said. You said the curtain goes up at 8.30. What did you mean? Uh, well, look, I'll tell you as soon as you come out of this tunnel. Come on. <laughs> tell me now. Well, I... Since it's our anniversary, I thought maybe that we... Anniversary! Oh, 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 oh. Look, I refuse to be kissed by a headless woman. Get out of this thing. There you are. Oh, well, you mean we're not going to that horrible banquet tonight? Of course not. Look at that. Sweet. Alvin, I can't go to the Philharmonic looking like this. Look at my hair. Honey, look at the time. We've got 15 minutes. Come in the car. Come uh, on. Alvin, did you make up all that stuff about the snake? Well, maybe just a little bit. Come on. Let's oh, go. Wait a minute. Let me get my purse. Honey, look, Arturo. <laughs> 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 